Day 915 Welcome back to the Ukraine Wireless YouTube channel, where we bring you the latest and most critical updates from the front lines of Ukraine's ongoing war between the Russian and Ukrainian wars. As always, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for daily, in-depth coverage of the operations that are shaping the future of Ukraine. Today marks one of the most intense days in the ongoing conflict between Ukrainian and Russian forces, with a staggering 136 combat clashes reported. Ukrainian forces continue to stand firm, repelling Russian attempts to penetrate deeper into Ukraine's territory. The fiercest battles are being fought in the Pokrovsky direction, but significant skirmishes have also erupted in the Lyman and Kurakivsky directions, where Russian forces have shown increased aggression. The Russian military has escalated its offensive operations with a barrage of aerial and missile strikes. Over the day, Russian forces launched a single strike with three rockets, accompanied by 58 airstrikes, resulting in the deployment of 95 bombs. Additionally, 436 kamikaze drones were unleashed in a desperate attempt to overwhelm Ukrainian defenses, culminating in 3,169 instances of shelling targeting Ukrainian troops and civilian settlements. In the Kharkiv region, the intensity of combat has reached new heights, with four Russian assaults taking place near Vovchansk and Lipsy. Ukrainian forces have demonstrated remarkable resilience, inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. According to the latest reports, Ukrainian forces in the Kharkiv direction have successfully eliminated and wounded 76 Russian soldiers. They also destroyed two tanks and artillery system, 32 drones, 5 vehicles, and 7 specialized equipment units. Moreover, 9 artillery systems and 3 vehicles were significantly damaged. The Kupiansk direction witnessed 13 attempts by Russian forces to breach Ukrainian borders, with battles unfolding near key locations such as Petropavlivka, Sinkivka, Glushkivka, Kolesnikivka, Lozovo, and Stelmakivka. Out of the 11 clashes that ensued, Ukrainian forces have successfully repelled all but two, with those battles still ongoing. Ukrainian forces have established new strongholds in this area, fortifying their positions to fend off any further Russian advances. Notably, Russian snipers have attempted to infiltrate Ukrainian lines, but Ukrainian forces have countered with night vision drones, effectively neutralizing the threat. The Lyman direction has become another focal point of the conflict, with 21 encounters occurring throughout the day. Russian soldiers mounted assaults near seven different settlements, focusing their efforts on the areas of Nevsky and Druzha Lyubivka, where they launched a total of 13 attacks. Despite these relentless efforts, Ukrainian forces have managed to hold the line, repelling each assault with determination and precision. In the Siversk direction, Ukrainian ground forces have successfully repelled six Russian assaults in the areas of Bailohorivka, Spirn, Verkniokamiansky, and Vimki. A fierce battle is currently underway near Ivanodarivka, where Ukrainian soldiers are once again demonstrating their unwavering commitment to defending their homeland. In the Kramatorsk direction, 12 significant battles have erupted, with Russian forces concentrating their efforts on the area around Chaisevoy Yar. Despite seven aggressive assaults, the Russians have failed to break through Ukrainian defenses. In the Toretsky direction, Russian troops launched seven attacks on Ukrainian positions near Nelepivka and Toretsk. Four of these assaults have been successfully repelled, while three ongoing battles near Nelipivka remain under control, with Ukrainian forces holding their ground. And the Pokrovsky direction has seen the most intense fighting of the day, with 41 battles reported across eight settlements. The Russian military concentrated nearly half of its attacks near Novogordivka, but Ukrainian forces have already repelled 37 of these assaults. Despite ongoing Russian efforts near Vozdyshenko, Novoleksandrivka, Kalinov and Sukhoi Balka, Ukrainian troops remain in control of the situation. In this direction alone, Ukrainian forces have successfully neutralized 254 Russian soldiers and destroyed two armored vehicles, two artillery systems, three drones and 15 vehicles. Additionally, ABTR, an artillery system, a 120M mortar, and three vehicles have been damaged, further weakening the Russian offensive. In the Kurakiv direction, Russian forces launched 18 attacks on Ukrainian positions near Karlivka, Nevolsky, Pervomaisky, Georgivka, Mikhailivka, and Konstantinivka. The Russian troops who advanced paid a steep price, with Ukrainian forces destroying four and damaging three infantry fighting vehicles. Furthermore, six Russian vehicles were obliterated, and 25 enemy soldiers were killed, with the number of wounded still being assessed. The Vermivsky direction saw nine offensive and assault actions by Russian forces targeting Volodar and Vodian. While most of these attacks have been repelled, one battle is still raging on. 
In the Pridnepraska direction, Russian forces attempted to breach Ukrainian defenses twice but were met with staunch resistance, failing to achieve any significant gains. Thank you for tuning in and remember to subscribe to our channel for daily updates on Ukraine's heroic struggle. Stay strong, stay informed and stay with Ukraine.